Shay here. Today we're going to be talking about storage and how I store my diamond paintings that I do not frame or do not put on uh, pant hangers. So here's what I do and we'll just kind of go through and I'll explain how I've got it set up. So I've got two different sizes here. I've got a smaller one on top and then I've got my larger one on the bottom. Uh, we are filming, little disclosure, we are filming in my dining room. Uh, my husband had to go to work today and my kids are out and about, so hopefully we don't get interrupted, but you never know. Oh, my dogs are outside. So hopefully we'll keep everybody at bay because I normally don't film out here on the table because it's like right in the middle of the house. All right, so let's start with the smaller one of the two. And I will link all of these things down in the description so y'all can get an idea of what I use. And if you're interested, you can also grab yourself one. So my smaller one I got from Amazon and it's an 18 by 24. And what I do with both of these um, portfolios, I store them under my bed and they both fit a little snug, but I can slide them underneath there and they both fit. So they're not that big. Um, the only thing I don't have with me today that I've used for these is the spray adhesive that I used to attach the, the paintings to the black paper inside. I used it all and the can was empty, so, but I'll attach it in the description and y'all can look for that. It's just a spray adhesive that I got at Michael's. Okay, so hope y'all can see um, kind of, you know, how this works. I know these are kind of big, there we go. Um, so in here, you know, obviously I just cut off, you know, around the diamond painting, you know, all the edges with the legends and everything. Some people I've seen um, do washi tape. I'm not a huge washi tape person. It just, I get frustrated with it because I feel like it doesn't stick real well. So for me, but you can make it look pretty if you want. You can add, you know, like I said, some washi tape around it. But these are just black, you know, just some black paper that just, you, know, you can slide in and slide out. And so I just, you know, now what I would recommend, definitely recommend is whenever I um, glued these, I took them outside and I did it in the backyard because when you spray that spray adhesive, it can get everywhere. So just make sure it's not too windy outside, but if you have a place to do it outside, that's where I definitely recommend, and wear gloves because you don't want to get it on your hands. And I wish I could show y'all, like I said, actually doing one, but I don't have the spray adhesive and I don't really, I have one actually that I need to do, but I need to go buy more. But like I said, I did have a comment um, after one of my videos of someone that was curious of how I stored everything. So I thought I would just do a quick little video and show you guys how I do it. And you've seen this one in my mermaid video. Now, the only thing about this, if you do paintings on both sides, it can get a little heavy, which I've noticed because I do have some on the other side. So that's the only drawback. Oops, I didn't put that in there again. That's the only drawback is, you know, hopefully there's not too much of a glare, is they can get heavy. So at this point, you know, it's been okay and I haven't noticed it yet, but when this book gets filled up, it's gonna be awfully heavy. So I'm not sure if you just wanna put one on each page, but I did, you know, use both sides. And then I've got, again, you know, it, these would be pretty if I did add some washi tape. I might do that, you know, but I'm always too busy just diamond painting. So this is kind of like the last stage and I just toss them in here. Even the day that I went outside and glued them, I, I really wanted to be doing other things, but I, I did it finally. I had them in here for a long time and I didn't have them attached and I had the legend still on there and I finally cut them. So let's see, what else do we have? Yeah, see some of these bigger, you know, Diamond Art Club ones can get a little heavy, but I have a small one on the other side. So, um, but yeah, you get to see some of my finishes. I don't know if y'all want me to go through all these. I mean, I guess we could while we're here. Um, let me back up a minute. So y'all saw this one in my mermaid video. I'm doing mermaid Mondays. So you saw that one. This is a diamond art club. This one right here, rainbow, I think it's called rainbow petals. But it was really, really pretty to do and it's got like a 3D effect. Really, really nice. So I liked that one. This is a diamond dots. So I show it on my mermaid series. This is a diamond art club. I think it's called fall time. Really, really pretty. Um, I love succulents. So this was a diamond dots, it's a partial. So that's there. And let's see, I might have a bigger one on the other side. Let's see, do I? Yes, oh, this one was so fun. Um, Abigail Marie here on YouTube for, um, oh, what's it called? I just 
drew a blank. Um, it's the collab that they do during Halloween. Anyways, I know y'all are screaming at me right now. I just drew a blank. Anyways, drills and chills. There we go. I got it. Drills and chills. I did this one from Diamond Dots, and it's got the special drills. It's got the big prism in the center. It's really, really cool. And again, you know, this is a partial, so this black, you don't have to do. It's just the skull. So I did that one. I kind of, these are all in order of, you know, when I did them and when the season was. This one I got from Amazon for my birthday um, from my mom and dad. My birthday is end of September, so I tend to get a lot of fall and, you know, um, so I got this Halloween one. It's like a pumpkin patch. And actually, you know what? Towards this part, the adhesive was starting to run out, the can. I should have bought two cans. And I'm probably going to have, it looks like it didn't really attach all that well, so I'm probably going to have to redo this one and spray it again because I really would, you know, what I would do is I'd spray the back, I'd spray the paper first with the adhesive and then I would spray the back of the painting and then put the painting on there and just make sure I had enough glue so I really, I really went through it quick. I probably should have used a lot more. Um, also got this one for my birthday. Um, I, you know, I got the pumpkin patch for my mom and dad and I also got the Santa. So I did that during Christmas time. I did this one. This is the first one. Um, this was a diamond art club and I'll show this in my mermaid series, probably the next one I do this coming Monday. Um, and y'all saw me do this one on one of my first videos when I first got on YouTube. So that's Jade's treasure, a little snack. So I, I need to, I need to glue her in there. She's not glued. I ran out, I think at this point. So, and then the last one, you saw me do a post review on and it's my craftably, which I really enjoyed. And again, I need to cut off the the border and the, cut off the legend and glue it in here. So, but it's nice just to stick them in here, you know, after you finish them. And, you know, they all don't fit in here, but m a lot of them do. And like I said, I, I tried to find the biggest one I could get and it's an 18 by 24. So most of my paintings fit in here. I know I didn't give you all the sizes of each of them because I don't have, a, I didn't have them written down. But like, you know, um, for instance, you know, this one right here, this fall time one's a big one. And as long as you cut off the border, it, you know, it fits in there nicely. All right, so, and I do have some blank pages still. Like I said, this thing's gonna get heavy. Let's see, I've got, it holds quite a few. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, I've got plenty. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, wow. 18, 19. Okay, so I have about like almost 20 pages left. So this, this it's gonna get really heavy. Um, so we'll just keep going. I might have to switch over to a different system at some point or maybe buy another one. Um, I don't remember how much, it was, how much they were on Amazon, but I'll attach it in the link. I don't think it was that expensive from what I remember. I bought it a while ago. You know what I might even do when I'm editing this? I might pop that up on the screen so y'all can see how much it was. So it'll give you a better idea if you're interested in purchasing. All right, so that's my smaller of the two. And let me move that aside, put that over here. All right, this big one I got from Michael's, the crafting store. And I will find that on their website and attach it. Now this one has, uh, it's got the handles and it's got the zipper. So you just kind of, it's got one zipper. It just kind of zips around. So Keeps them. And it's got like a, you can kind of hear it, it's kind of a hard plastic, so it keeps them secure. Now, the only thing I did add for reinforcement, oh my goodness, these are my big ones. I did add in, and you can kind of see it, um, I feel like I need to zoom y'all out even more. Let's see if I can do that. Um, I think you're up as high as I can go right now. Um, what I did add in this one, I added a piece of cardboard from like an Amazon box just to give it, you know, you can see it right here, just to give it a little more, you know, structure. So I did add that and it was a big piece and you can see it goes all the way across. Whoa, sorry guys, I just bumped you. Yeah, the, it's a piece of cardboard. You can see it right here too. And it just goes all the way over. So I just kind of stuck it all the way in there and it just went through. So it's not necessary probably, but I just felt like I wanted to. All right, so with this portfolio, it's got you know a pocket here, which we really don't need that 
smaller pocket here, I guess if you're putting art supplies, but this was really just for storage for me. So, okay, um, I don't know if we have to go through all these, but these are the big ones that would not fit in the 18 by 24. Now this is my Distracted by Diamonds, one of the little darling series. I really enjoyed her, she's so cute. I did her during Christmas time. I think she's called uh, Presents from Paris. So after I did the Santa, I did her. Like and then here's one of my Sherry Baldies. That I did from Diamond Art Club. See, now you can see the cardboard. Let me just kind of put it in there. Well, I did put a little bit of washi tape around the corners of this one, just kind of playing with it. But yeah, there's my Sherry Baldy. I think it's called Candy Cane Dia, or Candy Cane Dia, if I remember right. So that's her. And then on the other side, I've got one I did recently, one of my, uh, oh, and it's got some straps, almost like, you know, in a suitcase. It's got some straps that come off, so it kind of keeps them in there nice and Nice and secure. One of the Gretel Luskies. I've got uh, three of them out of the four. So I'll show this one to y'all on my Mermaid series when we go through my Distracted by Diamonds. We'll go the, through that further. So I've got this one. It's called At the Bottom. And then, you know, even when I, I was, I know I haven't cut these yet, but even when I cut, was, you know, looking at the size of this one, even when I, if I cut the border off, it still wasn't getting fit in that 18 by 24. It's just a little too long to fit in one of those pages. So that's why she's in here. Um, but yeah, that's it. Again, here's the cardboard I stuck in there, you know, just to kind of, but without the cardboard, it's still, you know, kind of that hard plastic. So, and the fact that it zips makes me feel good because they are under my bed and, you know, I don't want to get dust on them. So I think that's gonna be it for this one. I just wanted to kind of, you know, give you guys an idea of how I store mine. And I think after this, I'll maybe add a little clip, um, some pictures of some of the ones I do have framed around the house and where I have them. Because I don't frame them all, but you know, I do frame some. Just don't have the wall space for them all, you know? So um, that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, please, please, please let me know. And if you haven't subscribed, please do and hit the thumbs up button. Okay, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.